going to show you how to hook up the generator to run your entire house. So I'll put a link in the description below for the plug that you need uh, that you hook this up over here. And then we have this external hookup for the house. This is one of the safest ways to run a generator to your home. So I have an L14-30 30 amp 250 volt AC box. So you want to match this little one that has the L with the L here. Good. They're going to come down here. You're going to go up to your 240. You're going to match that up. And again, you get that plug that is here. Twist. Very good from that standpoint. So, what we're going to do now is come over here. Basically, to start, you want to push your uh, lever on the carburetor this way. Uh, for mine, I had to replace it, so I replaced it with a different model, so it's slightly different than the, the generic one. So I'm gonna hold that, and I'm gonna hit the start button. So once I hit the start button, the battery should help to kick it on. Okay. I can also turn it off with the off button. If I didn't have the auto start, if I put it onto the on position and I don't have a battery, it could start it that way as well. So in order to do this, I need to come down to the breaker. At this point, the power would already be off, but you would switch off the mains power. I'm going to do that in a second. And then once the mains power is off, I can switch on the feed from the generator. And that will allow me to backfeed this panel so that I can have power throughout the house. So first, I'm going to turn this off so the lights go out. I have a flashlight with me. So I have the main power off. That's very important because you don't want to put power back to the line. So if the power lines are down, you don't want to get anybody electrocuted that's working on the lines if they're down with tr down trees and things. So we have this interlock. So with this, we push this up. We flip this over. And guess what? Now the house has power. We are now running on generator power rather than uh, line power. So the mains are off, generator power is on. And as you can see, we have lights. So we can turn our lights on, turn our ceiling fans on. So everything in the house is running. And we have a backup here, and I can feel that it's getting warm as well. So now we're getting ready to turn the generator off. You never want to turn a generator off under load. It can damage equipment as well as it could damage the generator. So one of the best things you can do is actually take this generator feed, turn it off. There, there's no uh, load on the generator anymore. So now we're going to disconnect everything and shut it down. To put the main power back onto the house, I'm going to flip this switch and that'll go back on for the main. And then we can go outside and turn the generator off. So I prefer to shut it off that way where I starve it of fuel. One of the reasons why is the reason why these go bad is basically people leave old gas in the carburetor. The old gas then gunks it up and then it won't start the next time you try to run it. So that's why I like to starve it of fuel and uh, even if you ran it a couple of times, there, there's no fuel that's left in that carburetor. So basically. Next time I go to start it, it's gonna start right up. I just need to turn the fuel valve back on, and we're good to go. So, in order to disconnect this, just twist, pull straight out. Same thing goes for the cord at the wall. Flip this up, twist. 